Hello friends, this is Praveen. In this video, we will discuss the question paper of PGC NET December 2015. This is paper 3 of Electronic Science. Here we will discuss the question paper with their solution from question number 1 to 25. So here we will start. This is question number 1. For the n-channel MOSFET shown in the figure given below, threshold voltage Vt is equal to 2 volt. The drain current ID of the MOSFET is 4 mA. When the drain resistance the RD is 1 kilo. If the value of RD is increased to 4 kilo, then the drain current ID will become. So first, uh, we write KVL equation for this. 10 minus RD ID is equal to VD. So R for this, RD is 1 and ID is 4 in milliampere. On putting this, 1 into 4. So VD we can get 6 volt. So this uh, is uh, our uh, D terminal, this is our gate and this is source. So here you will observe that VDS is equal to, this is VS, VS is equal to 0. So VDS is equal to 6 volt which is also equal to VGS. So we know that VDS is uh, greater than or equal to VGS minus VT and when this condition to our this MOSFET comes under the category of saturation region. So if it is in saturation our ID is K into VGS minus VT whole square. Using this formula we can uh, easily calculate our current ID by applying both the conditions. So on solving this, we will get 2.8 milliampere. Option 1 is correct. So here, question number 2. In an NPN diffused junction transistor, the P-type base region is formed on the N-type collector region through the process of... So correct option is this, diffusion. Diffusion of P type of impurity. The average value of periodic trapezoidal waveform is given by. So, to calculate uh, the average value of any waveform, simply find the area under the curve of that waveform for first period and divided by that period 1 upon 2 pi. So, to calculate this, multiply by 1, 2 pi. This first we will calculate the area of this trapezoidal. So for this, uh, I will calculate the first area of this triangle, which is 1 by 2 into 2 pi by 3 into Vm. So this triangle is here 2 times, so I will multiply it by 2 and uh, area of this rectangle, so which is added here, which is 2 pi by 3, 4 pi by 3 minus 2 pi by 3, that is 2 pi by 3 into Vm. So, on calculating this, easily you can get 2 Vm upon 3. So, first one is the correct answer. Now, question number 4. The circuit shown below will act as an ideal current source with respect to terminals A and B when frequency is. So as you, you can see the frequency is in radian per second and you know the formula to calculate this frequency omega is equal to 1 upon under root LC where L is uh, given 1 over 16 Henry and uh, C is 1 farad. So on putting this value we can easily get the omega which is equal to 4 radian per second. So correct option is 4. Question number 5. If a certain oscillator AV is equal to 50, the, this voltage gain is given 50, the attenuation of the feedback circuit must be. So we know that uh, attenuation alpha is uh, simply inverse of this. So it is 0 0.02. Option 4 is the correct. Question number 6. 
in circuit shown in the figure if input voltage is 0.2 volt then the volt output voltage you know is so in the circuit simply we will apply the virtual ground terminal across so if this is uh, connected to ground this terminal is connected to ground which is 0 volt so it's uh, virtual terminal here we will consider there is also 0 volt so here we also consider this is uh, we will consider it as V1 here this terminal will also 0 volt so VI is given 0 0.2 volt so 0 0.2 minus 0 upon 10 is equal to 0 minus V1 upon 50 so easily you can get V1 is equal to minus 1.0 here again we apply KVL in this it is V1 minus 0 upon 25 is equal to 0 minus V0 upon 150 so on putting V1 is equal to minus 1 easily you can get V0 is equal to 6 volt so correct option is what term? 6 volt now question number 7 which of the following A to D analog to digital converter is faster so you know that flash type A to D converter is a fast state converter it takes only one clock pulse to convert any analog data into digital so for question number 8 for wired A and D and connection we should use so correct option is third one TTL gets without active pool and opens with open collector so this is important question number 9 the 8085 assembly language instruction that stores the content of H and L register into the memory locations 2051 and 2050 respectively. H is representing that this location is given in the hexadecimal. So, correct option is third one SHLD 2050H. So, operation of this instruction is that it stores the data of uh, uh, H and L registers directly address is given in the instruction as operand so correct option is 3 question number 10 consider the following instructions of 8085 microprocessor which of these cause the change in status of flag so first one move M comma A this is the data transfer instruction which con accumulator contains move into the memory register M third one is uh, mvi a comma ff this is also data transfer instruction the ff 8 bit hexadecimal uh, 8 bit data is uh, moved into accumulator immediately second one cmp m this is the compare instruction accumulator contains is uh, compare with memory register if it is equal then it indicates in the flag register as zero flag indicates to one it is set if uh, accumulator contains is greater than memory register contains then carry flag is reset if accumulator contains is less than the memory register contains our carry flag is set so in this way our carry flag indicates so our status of flag is changed when this instruction is executed so correct option is 2 now question number 11 a member of a structure object can be accessed through a pointer to the structure object by using the so correct answer is arrow operator question number 12 the value returned by the str len string length function when a string literal constant is given to it as an argument is so its correct option is second one which is same as the number of characters in the string argument now question number 13 for a quarter wave ideal transmission line of characteristic impedance of 50 ohm and load impedance of 100 ohm the input impedance of line will be so we know that uh, formula 
you know that formula to calculate the input impedance which is uh, z in is equal to z naught square upon z l where z naught is given uh, 50 upon load impedance is 100 so on solving this easily you can get 25 so correct option is second 25 ohm question number 14 our tem transverse electromagnetic wave Amping obliquely on a dielectric dielectric boundary with ER1 is equal to 2 of one medium and ER2 is equal to 1 of another medium. The value of angle of incidence for total internal reflection is so the so simple formula is for this is uh, to calculate the total internal reflection is sine is equal to under root of this epsilon. R2 upon under root of epsilon R1. So it is under root of 1 upon under root 2 and 1 by root 2 we know that it is sine 45 degree. So our correct answer is 45 degree. First one is the correct answer. Question number 15. A power signal f of t has a power spectral density defined as sf of omega is equal to n upon a square for mod of omega less than b. The power spectral density of t by dt of f of t will be so easily you can calculate this uh, f of t from a given power spectral density by uh, using Fourier transform. So and then differentiate this with respect to t and then again find the power spectral density in terms of omega. Or uh, simply you know that. Uh, Differentiation in time domain is uh, similar to multiplication of omega square in frequency domain. So this possibility n upon a square is multiplied by omega square when our power density in this range minus b to b. So correct option is third one omega square n upon a square. Question number 16. The relay distribution of a random variable x is defined as so here direct expression is given so its pdf or relay distribution is given x upon sigma square e to the power minus x square upon 2 sigma square for x is greater than or equal to 0 so second one is the correct option question number 17 a fiber has a core radius of 6 micrometer operating wavelength 1.50 nanometer the v number of the fiber is given by so we know the formula to calculate v number is equal to 2 pi into a into n a numerical aperture upon lambda where a is the radius which is given 6 micrometer into 10 to the power minus 6 meter and uh, lambda is given 1.50 nanometer which is into 10 to the power minus 9 so numerical aperture is not given in the question so there is a mistake in this question. So one thing I'd like to discuss here: if indexing is given, index of core, index of core is given, which is n1, and uh, index of cladding is given, which is n2. So you can calculate numerical aperture as n is equal to n1 square minus n2 square your n1 should be slightly greater than n2 to guide the light so here we can output the number now question number 18 the voltage safety factor vf of a thyristor is given by so that formula is given here so is equal to the inverse voltage upon root 2 into rms value of the operating voltage so correct option is second one now question number 19 which of the following is used to estimate the probable error of any measurement so our gaussian distribution which is no, also known as normal distribution is used to estimate the probability probable error of any measurement question number 20 the circuit diagram of a capacitive transducer is shown in the following figure and uh, here the rc circuit is given the frequency response of transducer is so from the figure it is clearly understand that 
here on the axis is e0 upon h is nothing but a voltage drop across this resistance and from the circuit is clear that it is rapidly exponentially increasing so our correct answer is second one now question number 21 which of the following statements are valid for j effect so ids is equal to ids is into 1 minus vg upon vp this would be correct on only if uh, there should be two square so ids equal to ids is 1 minus vg upon vp whole square this is the correct expansion and uh, d1 mu is equal to gm into rd this is the correct statement so there is again misprint in the option question Question number 22. Which of the following statements are true for a Zener diode? So Zener diode is also known as voltage regulator. So the voltage across the Zener resistance is zero. This statement is not correct. The diode is used as a constant voltage device. This is correct. A diode is used as a vector diode. This is not correct. The diode is formed of heavily doped of P and P type. There is again misprint in the question. About heavily doped, so I would like to discuss that uh, our Zener diode should be heavily doped so that uh, our Zener breakdown voltage is low and uh, it will provide the Zener character. So there is a there is no option is correct because uh, misprint in the question. Question number twenty three. As parameters can be obtained in terms of Z and Y parameters, following statements have been given. So simple here, transformation of uh, the parameters. Our correct option is uh, A and D. So A and D is correct. Option number one is correct. Question number twenty-four. For the following signal, the signal is given. The Z transforms and ROC has been given below statements. To calculate the Z transform, we know that uh, our x of n is a to the power n u of n. Then its Z transform is Z upon Z minus a, and our ROC is mod Z is greater than a. So if we compare with this. So we'll get z upon z minus one upon two plus z upon one minus three. So this is correct, and ROC is z is more z is greater than one upon two and more z is greater than one upon three. B one is correct. So A and B is correct. Second one is the correct. Question number twenty five. Which of the following statements are valid for an oscillator? So we know that uh, oscillator is uh, used to generate uh, sinusoidal signal. So it may or may not require DC supply. So this statement is not correct. A phase shift around the feedback loop is zero. This is correct. A gain of one around the feedback loop. You know that a beta is equal to one. So this is also correct. Gain around the feedback loop of less than one. This is not correct. So b and c are correct. Third one is the correct answer. So that's all about for this video. We will continue in the next video. So thanks for your kind attention. Your all suggestions are most welcome. Please like, share, and comment, and subscribe my channel, Pravin Two Five Four Double Eight. All the best.